This is The Daily Hope, and I'm Chuck Butler. Today's great verse is from the book of Jonah, chapter 2 and verse 2. To set the scene, uh, verse 1 says, From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. And in verse 2, Jonah said, In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. First of all, let's look at the circumstance. Jonah is inside of a whale. Let me ask, what does your current whale look like? Is that latest trial or circumstance in your life out of the ordinary? Is it larger than life or even intimidating? Or is it a result of your own doing? Perhaps it's rooted in ego, bias, or prejudice. Or as in Jonah's case, the result of his personal disobedience. Secondly, let's look closer at the environment. Jonah is also in the dark. I wrote a song once for a domestic violence ministry. It was about the cry of a young woman whose personal life was being squelched by a selfish, narcissistic male who made her feel imprisoned in her own home. Like Jonah, she was in the dark, and the song was called, I Can't Breathe in Here. Let me ask you this question. Are your spiritual O2 levels dangerously low? Jonah is also choking from seaweed being wrapped around his neck, and he realizes that it also stinks in there. You know, just as we believers are to bear the sweet aroma of Christ wherever we go, the world and its many old haunts seem to often have rather unpleasant odors. Thirdly, let's zero in on Jonah's last resort. Jonah finally prays. He himself states in verse 2 that his prayer was from a place of great distress. His prayer was from a depth he was not prepared for. His prayer was offered up from what he describes as the place of the dead. He prayed from within the fish. Despite where he was, he went ahead and prayed. Despite all these conditions, take note, he prayed to the Lord as God. He called to the Lord. He asked for help. So today, what does your whale look like? Is where you find yourself right now of your own doing? Or has God allowed this to unfold to gain your attention, to bring you out of the depths? Perhaps your spiritual O2 levels are far below a survival mode. Or maybe you're feeling choked out. Perhaps others are no longer enjoying that sweet aroma of Christ through your life. Despite all of that, you can pray today from the belly of your own circumstances or trials. In these times of great distress, from a depth hard to survive, especially if we remain apart from the one who fashioned us, pursued us, called us, saved us, filled us, and who has always remained faithful to us. So come and cry out for help with me this very day. Let's acknowledge that God can and will answer our prayers wherever we happen to be. Let's acknowledge that God is listening to our cry as we pray and agree together. And remember, prayer is boundless and borderless. He knows our distress, and he's able to lift us out of it. So that's what I'm praying for, especially with you today. Remember, Jonah prayed, and God delivered him and was able to use him once again. God saved Jonah for a second-chance situation to represent him. Lord, lift us out of the dark. Grant to us another chance to bring your sweet aroma to those who have yet to hear of the mercy of Christ extended to them beyond measure even to those whose minds and actions seem to be beyond reach or beyond hope. Lord Jesus, lift us out of the dark. Help us to breathe anew. Use us to carry your mercy further into this beautiful but broken world. In your name we pray. God bless you all. Have a great day.